So people have had a problem with uh, the Magic Jack where they plug it into the USB and you can see that it's plugged in, but nothing popped up on the screen. And no matter what they do, when they plug it in, just, uh, the program isn't popping up, allowing them to make their phone calls. So what I'm going to show you today is how to remove the drivers installed on your computer by the Magic Jack and then reinstall the drivers. So the first thing we're going to do is click start and go to my computer. So as long as your computer is recognizing the Magic Jack, you can see there is the CD drive E and the Magic Jack on the F. So we'll right click the CD drive and then you want to click properties. We're going to go to the hardware and you can see there's two drivers, the TigerJet CD-ROM USB device and the TigerJet hard disk device. And we're going to uninstall the drivers for both of these. So select the TigerJet CD-ROM USB drive, click Properties, click Change Settings, and then we're going to click Driver and Uninstall. It's going to ask if we're sure, and yes we are. And you'll see that now it's disappeared from uh, my computer now that we've uninstalled it. And we're going to do the same thing for the hard disk USB device by TigerJack. Click driver, uninstall, and OK. Click OK. So you can see that now it's disappeared from our uh, my computer, but it is still plugged in. So what we're going to do is unplug our Magic Jack. Wait a few seconds and plug it back in. And you'll see in the corner of uh, the Windows desktop that much like the very first time you plugged it in, it's going to recognize it and it's going to install the drivers. So there it is. successfully installed, the device is ready to use, and you'll see this familiar screen that should have popped up the first time you installed it, giving us the option to start Magic Jack. And you can see the icon is on our desktop now. And here's our familiar uh, screen with polite messages on it. So you can see that it's loaded now. So uh, there's new drivers installed, and so every time you plug it in, this should pop up. And uh, if that was the problem, then now you fixed it.